So Shannon Brown got, uh, you know, arrested, aggravated assault charge. Um, this was a really crazy situation because it's like we're in quarantine and people are still managing to get themselves in trouble. But um, apparently the situation was kind of weird because he had a um, home, someone that entered his home. And um, apparently, you know, he took matters into his own hand to protect himself. Um, and he was accused of shooting two people. So uh, apparently he fired the gun in, in his home and he got arrested. So um, really weird situation that happened during quarantine. Yeah. Well, I, shoot, shooting at two people. Shooting I mean, at, he, right. Yeah. It's, it's a really weird situation because when I first heard the story, I, I thought the same thing. Like, what's the big deal if somebody entered his home? But then I'm hearing that his home was actually for sale and these people were doing a, a walkthrough. So... I, honestly, I, I want to hear a little bit more about it from his perspective. Like, was he not expecting uh, the visitors or potential buyers to come by? Or was it a situation that did they walk into the wrong home? And I don't say that jokingly because there was an incident where Tom Brady actually walked into the wrong home recently as well. Um, Tom Brady was down in Tampa and he was going to pick up, I guess, some, some offensive tape from the coordinator down there. And he walks into the wrong home. And even though a gun wasn't drawn on him, he was confronted by the homeowner, like, who are you walking into my house? Wow. Um, so I'm a little interested to, to hear more about it because when I heard that his home is for sale, I'm like, I didn't, I mean, did he not know they were coming or what's, what's the dynamics there that, that would, obviously I, I would assume he wasn't walking around his house with the gun in his hand. So the moment they came in the house, he obviously went to his, you know, safe box or wherever he keeps his gun. So what transpired in that minute or two when they first walked into the home to the point where he grabs the gun and shoots at them? Yeah, he, all right, so the, the house was for sale. That's why the, the door was open. Right. Um, but it, I don't see, I don't know, because again, there's, there's still information that hasn't come out yet. So I don't know if it was a thing where the open house ended at eight o'clock and they was coming in at nine o'clock. Um, supposedly he did ask them to leave first though, before he let off the shots. Oh. Um and then you know saying that he let off like five shots, so I, I don't know. It's a tough situation. Uh, I mean, he's he's um he's in the south, so he he can carry the firearm, and I don't know what kind of firearm it was because I don't think they specified that. You know, what I'm saying so he can carry, but you know, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's, it's a tough one. Yeah, I think there's still a lot of uncertainty around it. Um. Like I said, because even when I first heard about it, my immediate thought was like, oh, you know, somebody went in his home. He, he had every right to. Um, yeah. We know the story of Sean Taylor, who was in his home with his fiance and his daughter and some intruders came, you know, and he lost his life. So I get it. But then when I heard it was like the house was for sale and a potential open house, I, that's where the confusion for me comes in. Because it's like w there had to be some sort of breakdown in communication uh, for him to draw his, own, his pistol and then I actually shoot at whoever it was in his home. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think, um, you know, this kind of reminds me, there was a situation with L. Cool J a few years ago where an intruder entered his home and he had to move really quickly and uh, the police were called and they were captured. And it was a whole thing. He had his daughters inside. And I remember watching the interview and he said that he went into like go mode. Like he didn't even want to ask any questions. It was like, who entered my home? So in my head, it's kind of like the forced sale sign definitely makes this a very complicated, very complex story because you're like, okay, well, what happened? Um, I seen in the article where they said a couple noticed the gate was open and what w was interested in touring. So maybe they thought it was a vacant home and they went ahead and entered. So even if that was the case, then that's inappropriate as well. Obviously, I work in real estate and there's certain precautions that you have to take when showing a home or seeing a home, right? So for one, IDs have to be taken. Um, there's a lot of instances where things happen with real estate agents in homes. So I think there's kind of, there has to be blame on this couple side though too, if, if the proper precautions like their ID and knowledge of the home wasn't taken, then it sounds like they were roaming in the neighborhood and seen, seen it, it, it literally stated the gate was open. So they went ahead and went to go tour. So, I mean, I kind of think, look, if Florida can get away with standing your ground rules and all these other things, if Trayvon was walking outside, and Zimmerman stood his Once ground again, in his neighborhood. They got the complexion. I protection. think that he was in every place in his home. Like, nah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he should have been charged for a damn thing. I'm right. I'm not, again, I, I agree with you. I don't, I'm not saying he is wrong. I would yeah. just like to know a little bit more about where the breakdown in communication happened. If yeah. this couple took it upon themselves, oh, we're just going to give ourselves a tour, then no, you, you probably should have got shot in your foot. 
I'm going to just yeah. call it what it is. You, you should have got shot in your foot. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But if they took the proper precautions or the proper steps, as you mentioned, and then the real estate agent failed to tell Shannon, then this should fall on, there should be some, some uh, you know, fall on the real estate agent too, if, if right. that's what took place. Because now these people's lives were threatened and Shannon felt threatened, obviously, because he's in his home and somebody's yeah. just walking in. And meanwhile, somebody dropped the ball somewhere along the line. And right. if you said, first of all, he said, if you said, get out, at that point, anyway, there shouldn't be no further communications. If I'm, this is my home and I'm telling you to get out, you know what I'm saying? At that point, you just leave and y'all figure out any other situations later. But I think the bigger thing here is why the hell is Shannon Sharp showing off his house during the, the pandemic that's going on right now? Shannon, Shannon Brown. Shannon, Shannon Brown. Brown, excuse me, not Shannon Sharp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah why, why is Shannon <laughs> Brown uh, showing off his house right now? So you got a whole bunch of different people coming into your house, touching things, moving is all it, around. Uh, well, he's going through a divorce right now, right? Well, still. I know it's the beautiful, the lovely Monica. I mean, no, no, I, I'm, I'm, again, you know, we don't know. This might have been something that was already in the works. Maybe the house is already up for sale the last few months, and he's just leaving it for sale. Um, it could be because of the divorce. You know, it's, it's, it's an asset, and they got to split the assets. Um, yeah. So it, it could be a number of things. Like I said, I don't blame them, though, honestly. You know, if you were in your home and you felt threatened, you have every right to do that. Uh, oh, yeah, absolutely. My, my question would be just where, the, you know, where was the breakdown of communication that led to this part where, you know, he's shooting at somebody who's thinking they're viewing a, a, a home that's for sale. What's good? It's your boy, Daylight. You're now tuned in with RealFansRealTalk.com. Bye, y'all. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought. Real 